Hey y'all, I'm Marcus King and these are my marquee memories. Jeff Beck is one of the most innovative guitar players and just one of the coolest rock and roll stars <laughs> that there's ever been. I was in Macon, Georgia. I was playing a gig. I think I was about 18 years old. Jimmy Hall from Wet Willie and from Jeff's band was meant to come down and, and sit in with us. He was running behind. The show finished and everybody was leaving and the lights were on. And then Jimmy Hall burst through the door. He pulled out his harmonica. He said, turn the lights back off. And then he ran back out on the stage and we played for a while longer. And that's how I met Jimmy Hall. Months later, I ended up in London and I was playing a gig at this festival, like next to the O2 Arena. Turns out it was Jeff Beck playing next door and that blew all of our minds. And Jimmy Hall found out that we were there and he said, bring them over right now. And uh, they slayed it, they just killed it. It's kind of a nostalgic thing for me because that's what I kind of grew up really studying, like blow by blow. That was a record that was really impactful to me. It really inspired me to want to find my own sound. I was down in Dallas, Texas, playing at the Eric Clapton Crossroads Festival. I'd never been this nervous on a gig before. I mean, I get nervous every night, but not like this. I was shaking. And we went on and we played. We felt really good about it. There was an energy and a spirit in that room, unlike any performance I've ever been a part of. And when we came off the stage, Clapton was there. It was like seeing a, a unicorn or like a UFO. It's like, this can't be real. This can't be happening. He said he was speechless, and I said, I'm speechless. So I just gave him a real big sweaty hug, and I'm sure there was a few security guards watching me closely. Eric Clapton's playing is one of those styles that I think every guitar player looks up to, or they should. You gotta always get in touch with your inner Clapton. <laughs> I think I must have been like 12 years old, and I went with my dad, and this was the gig that first ever damaged my hearing. He was really, really saying what he needed to say. That's the first time I ever saw somebody really get after it in that way and saw how much he needed to be doing what he was doing. And you can really tell that they need to be there. Maybe they don't want to be there, but they need to be there. And Dickie was really, really getting after it that particular night. I got my, my LP signed. Dickie Beth is still rocking. Thanks for watching my marquee memories. Come join us on tour and make some memories of your own. We'll see you there.